Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is youth violence and intentional injury. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about youth violence and injuries that are inflicted intentionally, uh, Dr. Uh, War is, Dr. Paul War is from Harry Medical College. And of course, Dr. War is, is in the uh, Department of Family and Community Medicine, and he'll give us some additional information in reference uh, to that. And of course, Dr. Warriors, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you, Dr. Hank. And to tell you, Dr. Warriors, how uh, <coughs> delighted we are to have you here because the uh, topic that we are going to deal with this morning is a very, very important topic mm -hmm. considering all the problems that we're having dealing with youth homicide and youth violence, and et cetera. And I think in a real sense, you bring a new perspective to this uh, dealing with uh, what you and uh, others have called intentional injuries, mm -hmm. and we're going to have, have you to uh, talk about that. But before we get into that, Dr. Warriors, let's talk about Dr. Paul Warriors, and to have you to give us some information about your background, mm -hmm. your uh, education, <coughs> and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to us this morning. Okay. Um, well, maybe I'll start by saying I had, I never had a clue that I'd end up in academic medicine, and so the, my pathway to get there has been sort of the, the least uh, the road least traveled. Mm -hmm. uh, my family actually, um, I was born in the Yakima Valley and it's up in Washington State and it's sort of the end of the migrant stream. So my parents mm -hmm. uh, settled in that area and uh, moved to Seattle um, in my middle school years. Uh, my dad got a job over there and the family moved. Um, but growing up, I, again, never really had any, uh, I mean, I, going to college was always something that was very important to me. And I went to a, a local state college, Western Washington University, and got my bachelor's in psychology there. Uh, and I was excited about education and ended up getting a, a master's degree, going on to get my master's degree in, in school counseling. Uh, and at that point in time, I thought, my career was mm -hmm. going to be a middle school counselor mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately or fortunately I didn't last too mm -hmm. long and we had a great program I love working with young people mm -hmm. uh, but it was very difficult working in a school district mm -hmm. and, and again uh, at that time Yakima was still a very segregated community and mm -hmm. a, it was a, uh, a large uh, Mexican American mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. and also a large American Indian It was on a, uh, mm -hmm. American Indian reservation the Yakima Nation mm -hmm. And it was just a very difficult environment to work in. Mm -hmm. And I sort of, when I left that, I got into juvenile corrections and mm -hmm. did that for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And while I was doing that, I um, actually met a professor from the University of Washington mm -hmm. who was um, sort of precepting some graduate students a master, uh, who were in a master's of social work mm -hmm. program in the Yakima Valley. And I had a chance to meet with them. and. He uh, was back in the time with uh, Cesar Chavez and the, the, mm -hmm. the grapes, and we, so mm -hmm. we were protesting and doing mm -hmm. marches mm -hmm. and all of that uh, at the local grocery mm -hmm. stores. Uh, but it got me thinking that while I thought it was very important working individually with mm -hmm. young people and trying to make a difference in their lives, I was also very frustrated mm -hmm. in the amount of effect or impact that mm -hmm. I could have. Okay. And, and so, as I talked more with, his name was Gilbert Lucero, mm -hmm. as I talked with Dr. Lucero, he encouraged me to think about getting mm -hmm. into a doctoral program. And mm -hmm. for me, that was sort of outside of my Good. realm mm -hmm. of, you know, reality. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have anybody in the family. There were no role models mm -hmm. to, you know, but he was very encouraging. Mm -hmm. and, and I got me to apply, and I got accepted. And it was a program uh, at a um, university called Brandeis University. Mm -hmm. It's in the Boston area. Mm -hmm. And it was a program uh, in social policy. Mm -hmm. And so my, again, my focus shifted from working on an individual level with mm -hmm. people, uh, with young people and their families mm -hmm. <coughs> to one in terms of trying to change the environment mm -hmm. through public policy. Mm -hmm. And so that sort of uh, got me um, into you know, it's really a different level mm -hmm. of interventions. Mm -hmm. And from there, um, I met my wife, and mm -hmm. she was another, uh, <coughs> she was in the doctoral program at the mm -hmm. time we got married. And when we finished, we decided, we said, like, well, where, where do we want to mm -hmm. go? Because we had no obligations mm -hmm. or responsibilities at that time. And I said, let's go to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was just uh, a whim. And mm -hmm. so we went there and ended up, uh, both of us ended up uh, getting mm -hmm. faculty positions uh, mm -hmm. at Charles Drew University. Mm -hmm. And I was in a Center for Community Medicine at that time. And when I went there, the, uh, the president, uh, M. Alfred Haynes, mm -hmm. uh, invited me to come in and talk to him. And uh, mm -hmm. he's actually the person who had hired me. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, Charles Drew, like Meharry, was uh, mm -hmm. a historically black college. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so part of mm -hmm. what uh, he, he told me is he said, look, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, mm -hmm. Margaret Heckler, at that time, mm -hmm. said there were six areas that contributed disproportionately mm -hmm. to minority health. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. Bless, hold that mm -hmm. point there okay. as we make preparations for our first commercial break. And okay. then we'll come back and we'll pick up exactly at that point All right, because very we good. think that's very important. And of course, let me uh, uh, take this uh, commercial break and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, break. The topic is youth.